Greetings from the Krishna IVF channel and I am Dr. Ram Raju, Director Krishna IVF Clinic. Today we will be exploring the procedure of ICSI, a specialized form of IVF designed to overcome and serve people with male factor infertility. In the journey of infertility, it begins with stimulating the woman's ovaries to produce multiple eggs and closely monitoring the tech development by ultrasound and hormone levels is the first step. The second step is once the eggs get matured, these are gently retrieved through a procedure called oocyte pickup, which is a crucial step. On the same day, approximately around the same time, the male partner gives the semen sample and this is processed, evaluated and then loaded into an equipment called micro manipulator in which a single sperm is carefully injected into the egg initiating the miracle of fertilization. This process is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI and this has revolutionized the male factor infertility. Once the eggs are fertilized, they are nurtured in the incubator and which develop into the embryos. The process of nurturing the embryos take between 3 to 5 days depending on the protocol of the clinic and depending on the plan. The embryos that are nurtured can be monitored under a microscope or using modern technology called time lapse technology and Krishna IVF is proud to say is one of the few clinics which use total time lapse in their embryo monitoring. Once the embryos are ready, one or two embryos are transferred depending on the patient's age, condition and very rarely more than two embryos are transferred. A clinic which adopts one to two embryos policy is a good clinic. When people transfer more embryos, you can have a good pregnancy rate but it is associated with high incidence of twin pregnancy and preterm delivery and other problems. In summary, ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm injection is a procedure which has started in the late 1990s and changed the paradigm of male factor infertility. And in this, a single sperm is injected into a single leg and this is useful for people with very low counts or gross abnormal tetraspermia or motility disorders for this sperm. And in selected situations, in absence of sperms or aegospermia, where the sperms are taken from the testis to a biopsy. ICSI is a technology for male and it has changed the paradigm. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Please share the video and subscribe to this channel. Have a wonderful day from all of us at Krishna IVF Clinic.